prisoners were not allowed to look into the eyes of police uh, officers, actually not even look at their faces. If you dare do that, you'll get beaten up for sure. So usually just look at their shoes. When you heard you know, the, the footsteps of a police officer, you know, they are coming, you, you just don't uh, raise, raise up your head to look at them. And uh, whatever they say, if you don't follow or whatever you do, they, they don't like, they will punish you one way or another. In April 2002, Brookline resident and Chinese immigrant Yang Zhenli traveled to his homeland using a false passport to meet with members of the underground democratic movement there. As he tried to leave the country two weeks later, Yang was arrested and sent to Qingcheng prison, where he was kept with almost no access to a lawyer for nearly 15 months before he was finally tried for espionage and illegal entry. During that time, he was beaten, frequently interrogated, and kept in solitary confinement. Then, after a two-hour trial and nine-month wait for a verdict, Yang was sentenced to five years in prison. Six months after Yang's celebrated return to his home in Brookline, Massachusetts, the Harvard-educated mathematician sat down for the first time with a Brookline tab reporter to talk about the conditions he faced in prison and how he coped with them. And what was, what was that like? How, how, what were the conditions like in the prison? All the conditions uh, were... Uh horrible. I was essentially put in a solitary confinement uh, without reading materials, without uh, news from outside, without pen to write, almost nothing, almost no any meaningful human contact. In a cell during the eight months, and one day um, I try to remember uh, some uh, complicated English words. Mm -hmm. I found, to my dismay, that I couldn't remember them. And I, I began to worry. I began to worry that I uh, would lose memory altogether. Uh, so I get started uh, writing poems in my head to uh, increase my brain activity. In that way, I wrote a lot of, a lot of uh, poems. What were they about? Um, uh, about everything, anything. Anything I, I could think of uh, at that particular moment. About uh, children, family members, friends. A devoted Christian and member of Brookline's All Saints Parish, Yang turned to prayer in his weakest moments. Though even that earned him additional punishment. Uh, you know, they uh, handcuffed me, and I refused to do a lot of things that they led me to do. They uh, ordered me to do. And uh, well, they uh, want to stop me praying, and I refused to do that. And actually, the first day when I was transferred there, um, I refused to take the order to uh, stop praying the night, the, same, the night of the day. They took me to another uh, cell to beat me, four police officers. And a um, lot of arguments. And uh, they forced me to sit up uh, straight without moving for four hours a day, and at one point I uh, went to talk to the head of detention center, uh, saying that I de decided not to uh, continue to do that, and I would accept any punishment you think fit. Um, how to handle these uh, worries and anxieties? I was almost collapsed, almost, you know, just, just I, I cannot say I was despair, to, in total despair, but you know, just I couldn't um, uh, sum, summon enough um, 
uh, energy to do anything, to think anything at that moment. Yeah. How did you get past those moments? Um, prayer. I prayed, I prayed a lot. I am a Christian, so I um, have a morning prayer and night prayer and um, you know, spontaneous prayer. And I prayed to God uh, uh, very, very often. And um, the prayer reminded me that um, there must be a purpose um, of what happened on the part of uh, God. So I may might not be able to uh, know that that moment. So in the in the future, I would uh, be able to see the purpose. And um, so I have a mission.